and sit down. Okay, had sort of an interesting conversation the other day when we were training, and it was all about what people like to call Common Core Man. Everybody's all freaked out about it. So, I wanna talk about it for a minute because it relates directly to your deadlift. Common Core is not a curriculum. Common Core is a set of standards. The curriculum that you see when your kids come home with math homework that you don't understand was created by a publishing company, probably by Pearson. It was created by a publishing company as a way of addressing those standards. So when we get annoyed with curriculum, remember that we need to be aware of where the curriculum comes from. And just saying, well, it's common core math and I don't like it because I don't understand it, it doesn't help you. It doesn't help your kid, it doesn't help anybody. What I can say is this, when my son, who's now heading off to college pretty quick, was coming home with Common Core Math years ago, I didn't understand it. I benefited from having a wife who was a primary grade teacher. And what she explained to me was that the way math works, the way this Common Core Math curriculum works, is it's all about process. It's about teaching kids how to get to an answer as opposed to just memorizing. And that can be frustrating for us as parents because we didn't learn it. But here's what I can tell you. I stopped and I took a step back and I went through the math with him and I relearned how they were teaching math now. And what's happened is that I, somebody who is never good at math, can do math in my head pretty comfortably now because I learned the process. And here's how it's like your deadlift. When you go to move, when you go to move, what happens is if you are thinking about a result, your movement is going to break down more quickly than if you're thinking about a process. And this is the same thing as what we're talking about with kids learning math in this new Common Core curriculum. What they're learning is a process. So at the outset, their results, the numbers they get and how quickly they get them, aren't coming as quickly. But what's happening is that we're setting them up for success in the long run. The same thing applies to your deadlift. If you are focused on the result, how much weight is on the bar and how fast you pull it at the outset, you are going to ingrain inefficient, ineffective pattern. An ineffective, inefficient pattern for math is memorization. Because what happens when you don't have the fact memorized? You don't actually know how to solve the problem. Or if you're confronted with a strange new problem, you don't have a set of tools to say, well, here's how I did this over here. How do I apply it in this setting? It's the same thing with your movement. If all you have done is a poor setup position for your deadlift, you are going to lift poorly down the road. Let's think about how to fix that. And let's think intentionally about everything that comes in front of us, whether it's our kids' math homework, our deadlift, how we're gonna to report to the boss, how we're going to supervise the people underneath us. Let's do it with intention. Let's think about the process. Let's think about the techniques. And at the end of the day, if those techniques are sound, if the process is sound, the results will come. Process, think about process. And if you can do Common Core Math, your deadlift will get better. Or at least it'll be easier to load the plates. And for some people I know, just doing the gym math would be a huge step in the right direction. You know who you are. As always, thanks for taking some time to hang out. I hope you have a great day. We'll see you soon. Cheers. Shut up and sit down.